Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing with you the brief summary of how the Lord Jesus saved me. I was born into a Muslim family, a very strong, large Muslim home, where my father was a strict <laughs> man. So we grew up fearing him and following the path he has led us. But as a child, I started having encounters, strange encounters. I didn't know what to call it. But there was this particular one I had while I was growing. I saw the Lord Jesus visited me. He sat by my side and we talked for a long time. I can't seem to take that memory out of my head. I can't seem to forget that picture forever so he sat we talked like a father to a child even though i can't remember what we talked about neither did i see how his face looks like or looked like i never saw his face but i saw him clearly and i can remember vividly till forever so that day i woke up i told my mom about the dream and she said something strange as a muslim she is still a practicing muslim till now and I'm still praying for her. She said to me, you are a Christian. What she said didn't make any sense to me. It didn't make any meaning because I was enjoying being a Muslim. That was what I was raised to, to be and to like. But along the line, as I was growing, I kept getting deeper into Islam. My sister started wondering, if I was turning into a fanatic and everyone in the house were talking and trying to convince me to take it calm and even in my school then there was a time I had to represent my school set on hadith recitation and all that and severally I wrote letters to my sisters advising them on how to take their five daily prayers seriously Hallelujah. Fast forward to 2007. That fateful night of Saturday, one of those months. I can't really remember the particular month now. I prayed. I visited my elder sister where she knows I love to pray. So she gave me the mat, the veil and the rosary I needed. So I laid it. I prayed, packaged everything, left it beside my sleeping place so that paraventure I wake up by midnight I could observe midnight prayers or morning prayers so I woke up the following morning I was surprised by the voice that woke me up the voice woke me up from my sleep and said get up get ready go to church and the voice is not strange to me because it has been, the voice has been there, always talking to me. And it, has, it, never, it never led me astray one bit. I didn't know what the voice was. But I heard that voice that day. I said, no, 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 no. I was not telling the voice. I said, you know you don't deceive me. You know you don't make me go the wrong way. But this one you are telling me, I'm sorry, I can't. And the voice continued. I woke up. I got up. And I said, no, I don't disobey this voice. The voice was so present that day. And I woke up straight into my sister's room. And I called her. I told her, sis, I'll be going to church this morning. She turned with a great shock. I was like, are you okay? She said in Pigeon English, Nigerian Pigeon English, you well? That's, are you all right? <laughs> and I said, hmm, I'm very fine. She said, so what happened to you? Were you not the one who prayed here yesterday? Is that not your mat and everything close to your sleeping place? And I said, yes, but my instinct says I should go to church. And they already know me with my instinct. I named that voice my instinct. I never knew what it felt like to hear God. I thought it was my instinct. 
So I told her my instinct says I should go to church today. And I told her, you know my instincts don't fail me. She looked at me and said, mm, Madam Instinct, finish the house chores you have to help me with. Then go to wherever you want to go. Because in my home, by the grace of God, they always notice that whatever I want to do, I do it well. So they believe in that instinct. To them, it was also my instinct. So that was how I finished the chores. I ironed my clothes. <laughs> I was going. I said, Lord, where am I going? I, I didn't know, Lord. <laughs> I was like thinking to my instinct. I said, wherever you like, you direct me. I don't know where I'm going to. I just heard in my spirit again that any church you see right now, as you are going, enter into it. I said, okay. I saw a church very close. As I was going, I saw it. It was the redeemed Christian church of God. I said, what? This is a church. Huh? Let me enter this place. So I got into the church. I sat down. I was still forming like a guest. No Bible, nothing. Just like a farmer going to the farm without a hoe and a cutlass. So I, I sat. And the same, my so-called instinct said to me, get up. Meet one of the ushers, ask for a Bible. Tell them you are a visitor. I got up immediately and I met one of the ushers and I told them, please, I'm a visitor. Can I have a Bible? I'll return it after the service. Oh, one of them, she gladly gave me her Bible. So I sat, finished the church, gave my life to Christ by the leading of that instinct. After that day, I came back home. I was so fresh, I was fulfilled. My sister was still surprised. She told everybody at home, they were calling me one after the other, asking me, is that your decision? Why did you do that? I said, no, it's not me, it's my instinct. And that is my decision now. I have given my life to Christ. They all said, okay okay that's fine that's fine but these were my own direct siblings and my mom my father my father's house doesn't know anything about it until later but to cut a long story short i won't go into all that it all happened that way my life became transformed that same year everything started turning around for me i gained admission into school for the first time after five years at home, I gained admission. I, in 2007, and I went to school, joined, immediately I go to school, I joined the workforce of a church there. But I messed up. I still didn't know what was directing me because it was not someone who led me to Christ. It was he himself. So there was no person around me to guide me. So I entered the church like a Christian who has been a Christian. So nobody knew I was new and ready to coach me. So I entered, I got offended, left the church, mixed with friends, went several ways. I missed it, but his mercy kept bringing me back. He kept bringing me back. Most times in school, I want to take a step, a journey. He will come clearly. If you go on that trip, you will die. <clears throat> Immediately, <laughs> I won't dare. I will stop everything. So I started to grow, started to know it, this is not my instinct. Because it, I managed that way. I became close to him. Again, started fasting, praying just to know more of him. I don't fast and pray because I have problems. I was fasting because I enjoyed it. I didn't know I had a backing. Until one time, in my school then, people close to me called me Mrs. Instinct. I called it my instinct. Right from then, it was not 
too late ago <laughs> that I knew it was God speaking to me. It was the Holy Spirit. So there was a time during my admission, I was given a course which I was not, I didn't have a, the required um, result for. I needed to study one Nigerian language, which I didn't have. So I had to do a change of course. So something happened along the line. It was not released so long a story, but I'm not going into that. But that faithful day, I prayed and slept. Oh, my instinct came again and said, this is what is happening. When you go there, tell them this is what is happening. This is what has happened and all that. I went there. They didn't answer me. Those in charge. So I, I, I was lucky. I met a man whom I used to know called me his daughter and all that. And I told him that, look at what's happening to me. He said, give me your credentials. So he went to the office. Exactly what I told him happened to it was what happened. And he came, he said, that's your instinct. There's something about it. You are so right. It's exactly the way it is, but I've helped you now. The following day, my name came out. Everything was clear. So after four years in school, I actually spent five years because I entered through a pre-degree program. So after four, after five years altogether, my admission letter was not found and I was told I could not go for national youth service. This again, I cried. I left myself on the altar of God, cried, wept and all that. And the next morning I came to school. I wanted to, some of my friends asked us to go to somewhere else to check. As I was about to go with them, I was about going with them. The, the, the instinct came again and said, don't go, go back to your departments. This is the same department I've searched for, for four years. Say, go back to your department. You will find it there. And I told them, my instinct says I should check the department. They say, ah, Madam Instinct, you have started again. Instinct again. That you have checked that place for long. Okay, and they also were looking for theirs. They left. I didn't follow them because I know my instinct does not fail me. So I went straight to, to the department. I got there. I was really loved by everyone in my department. So the women there were asking me why I was looking so sad. And I told them, they collected my data and she opened the file. The next she will open after the first was mine. This is the same thing I have looked for for four years. So many issues and many uh, circumstances the instinct has led me right. So up till this day, in my journey so far, my instinct that I said, now that I know is the spirit of the Lord, it has never let me down. Whatever it says, I will do. Even in, in my daily activities in life, that is what controls me and directs me. He gives me things to write on. He has asked me to share this testimony for so long, but I've been thinking YouTube, we are who we watch and all that, but I'm glad you're watching today. And I'm so grateful you stayed behind to watch till this moment. So with this brief summary, I would like to say thank you so much for watching and I hope you like it. And I hope you've given your life to Jesus or you are considering or you, if you are still considering it, please let it be today. There's no time to waste. And I pray you, you, you hear from God directly and he will lead you right. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. Thank you and God bless you.